Hello, good people of YouTube. This is One Gorgeous Godzilla coming to you to give you an update of my progress thus far with the Julian Michaels Total Body Revolution. I planned on starting, um, as I mentioned in my previous video, on Martin Luther King Day of 2013, which sounds so crazy to say. But I did not really read the instructions as thoroughly as I should have and didn't realize that I would need several sets of weights in addition to a resistance cable. So I went to Walmart and looked, and then I went to TJ Maxx and found this one for $5.99, which wasn't a terribly, you know, large purchase, but it is um, something that you're going to need for workout number two. So you can get by the first day without it, but by the time the second day, you really need to have this thing. Um, in addition, I didn't realize that I needed several weights, or hand weights, several sizes of hand weights, rather. I had a pair of three pounds. I went and bought a pair of five pounds. Then I got some eight pounds, and I even bought some ten pounds, because apparently you work different muscle groups throughout the course of the, the workouts. And depending on the group, or the, the size of the muscle that you're working, you may need something heavier or larger. So, when I, once I got all of my accoutrement together, I started. Um, and this workout, these workouts are so challenging. I, I'm not, I don't, I wouldn't call myself a Rudy Poop. I'm not, you know, Hercules or anything either. But these, I was very surprised by how intense and how difficult these workouts are. Not to say that they're impossible to do, because they are completely doable. But by the time you think, I cannot go on, am I really going to make it through this thing? It's over. So, I love that about this, this, this system thus far, is the length of time. 30 minutes goes by like this. Especially when you're trying to remain conscious, catch your breath, and not pass out. So, um, but I have enjoyed it. The first CD, you work the front of your body which is like your arms and abs and I guess stuff like that. The second day you work the back of your body, like your glutes, your hamstrings, and also other lower back, lower body muscle groups too. And the third day is the cardio, which I have found to be surprisingly challenging where you run suicides and you do all this other stuff. Suicides I don't normally do in the course of ever since probably high school PE, to be honest, but it was good. It was something interesting to do, and you will need room in your house or wherever you do this thing um, for cardio one. Uh, let's see. Oh, my weigh-in, my progress. I am not following the plans of the diet, per se. Um, I'm doing Weight Watchers, which I mentioned earlier, so I figured that's close enough. One thing is as good as the other. I don't know. But I am watching what I eat um, within, you know, the parameters of Weight Watchers. But maybe not with Julian. I don't know. So my first weigh-in a week after doing this, I lost eight pounds, which was like phenomenal. I had to get on the scale like three, four, five, seven, twenty times because I just did not believe there was any way on this earth that I lost eight pounds in a week. If I could lose eight pounds in a week, I wouldn't be this size. I mean, that's just crazy. That's, that, that just blew my mind. But um, it could have been like water weight, below premenstrual, you know, just whoa. So, I'm, but I'm going to claim this eight pounds. Um, wherever, wherever they came from, wherever they went, I do not know. But I was so glad and so surprised um, at the end of the first week. I typically weigh in on Mondays, but this is a Friday. So I have yet to get to my weigh-in day. But I did go ahead and get on a scale so I would have something to let you guys know. And thus far, I've lost another 2.5 pounds. So that brings me to 10.5 pounds, which is bananas to me. It really is. Um, but things seem to be going well. I'm kind of nervous about the second half of phase one. But I will say that... Um, this first half has been challenging, but every time I go back to, like, workout one, workout two, as I revisit them, I've noticed that I can do things longer, my technique is getting better, 
or I am um, like a plank, I may could have only held it for like five seconds the first time I did that workout. But by this time, this is my last go round before I go to the second half of phase one. I can hold it for, you know, like 15 seconds, 20 seconds or whatever it is. So I am definitely noticing improvement um, by way of like stamina, technique, um, and duration of these exercises, like push-ups. I think I did like three the first time. And I still probably do five, then rest, then do another five, and then rest. But at least I can tell that I am getting stronger, I'm getting better at this. Um, I really sort of thought about doing this first part again, you know, just to get even better with it. But um, that's just crazy. And... I guess I would hopefully start improving once. I always continue to demonstrate that, that pattern of improvement as I'm going along. So, um, I think that's about everything for me, though. Um, but I am so excited thus far, and I am so glad that I did this. Um, it was like a last resort. I have a reunion coming up in October. I think I mentioned that as well before. But, um... I just hope that I continue this, this this little march of progress and ultimately get to where I want to be because it is insane to me that I've only started this a few weeks ago and I'm already getting into the range of my all-time lowest weight last year, which is just mind-boggling. And it took me months and months to get there. Um, so I think this thing is the real deal. If you ask me today, it really is. Through two months from now, I don't know what I'll say. But for now, it is the truth times 50 or, or whatever. Um, so hopefully, if you are contemplating doing it or if you are doing it, um, this serves as some kind of encouragement or at least an overview of what you can expect. Because it, is, it really is it's great. Um, easy. Hell no, but doable for sure. So I wish you all well, and until next time, I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.